Today we're going to talk about our cactus. And sometimes it's either you love cactus or you really are annoyed by cactus, right? Because they can be a little bit harder and trickier because they're very prickly to handle. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to have is some leather gloves. Today we're going to propagate, and you can see this one is getting extremely large. If you get to walking past it, you might see it's kind of getting a little bit out of control uh, with its growth pattern. So we're gonna propagate this little clip right here. It's kind of got some new growth potential starting at the top of it. So this would be a great one to transfer into a new container. So I'm gonna handle it by clipping on my clothespin clip first to kind of hold it. And then I'm gonna make a cut right here at the bottom. I'm gonna make a solid cut straight across. You can see all of the, the needles, but there's also needles that are inside that are very small, but they also will get into your hand if you're trying to handle it. We're gonna put it into our container that's pre-made and it has a potty mix and also a sand uh, mix in there with substrate so that will allow for drainage to get away. And we're gonna use our tools to kind of prop it up so that we can get it positioned correctly. Using leather gloves, it's a little harder to maneuver, right? And set it in there. Go ahead and put the excess potty mix around it. Put it right in the center. As you can see, we've just propagated. Uh, we, you can allow it to callus off, but since it's harder to handle, I'm gonna go ahead and cut and allow this one to go ahead and start rooting. Um, this will be able to be transported and transplanted into another container um, in about 10 to 14 days. We wanna allow some of those roots to get established and, and get started. But as you can see, using just some simple tools, to kind of go ahead and make some propagations and some cuts is the best way to kind of go about it. You can see here, we have some that's already been propagated and established. You see it's cut and it's already adding those additional um, new growth that's coming out of it. Um, again, some of the needles are come off, but we see that it's gonna be established. Those roots are growing down into the media and we have some new growth that's going. Best thing to do is to set up a day of the week that you're going to water. You don't wanna to have too much water on our newly transplanted and propagated cactus. Um, I would set up once a week. Once you get it watered the first time in, set up and water it once a week, checking the water levels inside. You can take a toothpick, stick down in there, see if it comes up like you have a, a cupcake batter. If it doesn't, if the soil does not stick to your your toothpick, then you can wait to water it. Overwatering it is more detrimental to a cactus than underwatering it. As you can see, this one has been doing great. It's growing. We've taken lots of multiple propagation cuts from it, and we'll be able to establish a lot of new potential new plants in our yard.